Hi. Um, I'm presenting uh, text technologies. Uh, this is a semester one course. Uh, what we'll be looking at in this course is the basic technologies that sit behind search engines on the web. So if you think of search engines like Google, Yahoo, or uh, Quill, uh, you might ask how, do they, um, how are they able to find relevant items when you put in a query, uh, and how can they do it so quickly and on such a massive scale? And that's basically the issues that we'll be looking at um, in this course. We'll look at the theoretical issues, which is just the mathematical underpinnings of search, how do search engines find the relevant documents. We'll look at uh, system-related aspects, which is mostly data structures and efficient algorithms for doing things quickly on a massive scale. Uh, and we'll also look at some applications, uh, so uh, ways you can take search algorithms and extend them into some other fields. So uh, on the theoretical side, we'll be talking about things like the nature of text, the basic statistical laws that govern text, uh, retrieval models, which are mathematical formalisms that allow a search engine to match uh, documents against queries. Uh, we'll be looking at a number of different models, uh, if, um, such as the vector space model, the language modeling framework, probabilistic retrieval models. Uh, if time allows, we'll also be looking at some um, advanced, uh, um, advanced modeling techniques that are used as part of search. So for example, uh, how, how you can incorporate clustering algorithms into search, uh, how you can use learning to rank, that's uh, that, that, that's a machine learning approach to searching um, and uh, certain others. On the systems aspect, we'll mostly be looking at the efficient data structures and algorithms for building a search engine, uh, but we'll also look at things like uh, crawling the web, so you'll learn how to write a web crawler. Uh, we'll look at text processing, how do you take text and convert it into something that can be used um, in an algorithm. We'll look at indexing methods, query evaluation methods, and possibly some network-based distributed methods for doing things very, very quickly. Uh, on the application side, uh, we'll look at web search. Um, so what are the things that are specific to the web? Um, we, uh, we will look at cross-language search. So how do, you, how do you search across a language boundary? So for example, if, if an English speaker wants to find Arabic documents of interest, uh, how can you search multimedia and perhaps others such as how do you answer questions as opposed to um, giving an answer to a question as opposed to giving a, li a ranked list of documents as a, as a result. Um, after taking this course, there's basically three outcomes that I'm looking for. You should be able to look at a search al algorithm and evaluate how good it is quantitatively. Uh, you should also be able to design a search algorithm for a new task that is of interest to you. And finally, um, while you might not be able to build an entire search engine, you will understand all the steps that are involved in doing that. Um, in the past, there's been several um, MSc projects that f flowed out of this course, uh, so I'll briefly focus on a couple of them. Um, so in 2009, there was a successful project on um, image annotations, so that's taking some of the techniques we described in the course and using it to automatically uh, assign tags to images. So you may have an image uh, which has some objects in it and basically sticking the tag description on that image completely automatically. Um, another interesting project was on trying to analyze um, message streams in multiplayer games and trying to infer things like uh, the rules that the players take when they play the game just from the communications. So uh, there again, uh, the course provides the valuable, ba valuable background in, um, in analyzing what exactly was said in the messages and how it can indicate um, what, the, uh, what role a person was playing in a game. Um, and finally, this year there is, a, there, is a, there is a project on trying to extend search engines to provide highly graphical, highly interactive um, search experiences. As far as the contents of the course, 
Um, the final exam accounts for about 70% of the mark. Um, last year, there were two assignments, um, each of them worth 15% of the mark. The first one was on building an intelligent web crawler with a few bells and whistles, and the second one uh, was on creating an image search engine. Um, there is currently no labs or tutorials for the course, so although that may change. Uh, the prerequisites for the course are uh, you should know basic linear algebra that just helps with some things, nothing fancy though. Um, you should be familiar with the basic probability and statistics. And you should have solid uh, programming skills because the practical component of the course is substantial. Uh, as far as programming, Python is highly recommended as a language for doing the assignments. It really makes the assignments quite easy to do. Um, and if you have any experience with Unix-like systems, that also tends to